Hola clase, hoy vamos a discutir unstressed possessive adjectives. So an unstressed possessive adjective shows ownership of something or someone, agree in, agrees in gender and number with the person or thing being possessed, and always precedes the noun they modify. So um, it would be saying my book, my class, his book, his class, right? It shows possession about who what belongs to somebody so just like adjectives they need to agree in gender and in number so i'll be sure to break this down for you but first we have your chart here that has the possessive adjectives so me and me they both mean my you use me when you're talking about what you possess is singular and you use me when the object you're talking that you possess is plural so once i show you in a different form it might be easier for you to understand your is two or twos. His or hers means su or sus. Yours, the formal, is su or sus. Ours is nuestro, nuestra, and nuestros. And actually, I'm missing nuestras. So if you want to add that in there, it's the, the feminine plural form. And then you have there, which is su or sus. So you can see, you know, there's quite a few sewer sus. So sewer sus can mean his, hers, yours, or their. So I always joke, when in doubt, pick sue because there's a higher chance that's what it might be. So how do you clarify then? How do you tell the difference? Um, because there's so many different interpretations. You can instead use a phrase with the preposition day in the following formula to avoid confusion. So the formula would be el, la, los, las, right? Your definite article plus the person or thing being possessed, plus day, plus owner. So in English, so I have this, su clase es interesante. So you could interpret that. So you can interpret by saying his class is interesting, her class is interesting, your, their class is interesting. So how do we clarify that? So if you have to clarify it, you would say la clase de Mateo es interesante, right? So, um, this is a different way to express who who possesses what. So the next one, su libro es viejo. Again, whose, libro, whose book are we talking about? We're talking about his, her, your, their book. So how would you say um, Matt's book is old? You would say... El libro de Mateo es viejo. And this is only when you need to clarify. So this isn't going to happen all the time. So I'm going to give you some examples to make it a little bit easier. So my book. How would we say that in Spanish? So this isn't on your sheet of paper that you have in front of you. This is just for clarification. Right? So book is singular. So you would say mi libro. So the next example I have is my books. So obviously books is plural. So how is this, how are you going to change me libro to be plural? Mis libros, right? So if this is plural, this is plural. Everything has to agree with each other. What if I said his book? Su libro. What if I said their class? su clase right so this is the one that usually gets people in trouble because you see the there you automatically assume it's going to be sus but it has nothing to do with the number of people that possess the object it has to do with the object that you possess and whether that's singular or plural right so their class would be su clase now the next one i have their classes so this one would be sus clases Right, so always remember it has nothing to do with the number of people, it has to do with what you possess that makes it either su or sus or me or mis. So tengo una página más, our book. So it also needs to agree in gender. So our book would be nuestro libro because book is masculine, nuestro has to be masculine. Our books changes a little bit because now it's masculine plural you would say nuestros libros right so both of them have to be masculine and both of them have to be plural our backpack nuestra 
mochila, because mochila is feminine, you need to have nuestra. So hopefully this helps you understand it a little bit more. Obviously, the more you practice it, it'll come a little bit more natural, but this can always be a little bit um, more difficult of a concept to understand. So your notebook to Quaderno, and then you also have your notebooks to Quadernos, right? So depending on if it's singular, plural, or masculine or feminine, the, with the feminine, that only applies with nuestro or nuestra. All the other ones you can't change. You, you only have to rely on the fact they're either singular or plural. So you guys have 12 sentences, right? In numero uno, my book is boring. So I'm bringing in the adjectives that we worked on the last class. Um, and hopefully if you've been paying attention the last minute or two, you know how to say my book. So mi libro es aburrido. Again, you have to make sure that your not only does your possessive adjective agree, but your adjective agrees as well too. So again, there's only one book, so it's mi libro. His pen is red. Su bolígrafo es rojo. His pens are red. So this is what I was talking about before, right? So everything has to agree with each other. So you're going to make everything plural this time. Sus bolígrafos son rojos, right? So sus is plural, bolígrafos is plural, and rojos is plural. Numero cuatro, their dog is ugly. Su perro es feo. So again, remember, they only possess one dog. If they possess two dogs, then it would be sus perros. So it has nothing to do with the number of people. It has to do with what they possess. Su perro es feo. Their map is small. Su mapa es pequeña. Oh, so does anyone see the mistake here? So mapa, words that end in P-A are masculine. So the word pequeña is actually incorrecta and should be pequeño. So su mapa es pequeño. Their map is small. So they, on, they only own one map. So that's why it's su mapa. Oh, and I skipped right over number six. Oh, I skipped over number five. Okay, so number five, I don't have it up here. Her name is Shakira, would be su nombre es Shakira. Then number six, their map is small, su mapa es pequeño. Numero siete, our friends are smart. Nuestros amigos son inteligentes. So this is plural, right? Friends, amigos is plural, so that means nuestros has to be plural. And also, inteligentes has to be plural. So you're getting a lot of practice with things that we've just done the last couple of lessons with the verb ser, um, with our adjectives, and also with our possessive adjectives. So just like math, Spanish, and any foreign language, you're always building on the concept that you learned from before. Numero ocho, her pens are blue. Sus bolígrafos son azules, right? So she has more than one pen, so it's sus bolígrafos. And remember, to make a word um, plural, if it ends in a consonant like azul, it's azules. Numero nueve, our professor is redheaded and crazy. Nuestro profesor es pelirrojo y loco. You could also, because it doesn't say whether to make it masculine or feminine, if you made this feminine, it would be nuestra profesora es pelirroja y loca. Numero diez, your dog is mean. Tu perro es antipático. Numero once, her notebooks are red. Sus cuadernos son rojos.
right? Again, everything has to agree with each other. And numero doce, my office is small. So if you don't know the word for office, it's a cognate, and a cognate is a word that looks the same or looks similar and is spelled similar and has the same meaning. Mi oficina es pequeña. So that is the end of today's lessons. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I know this topic can be a little bit complicado, so hopefully this helped clarify some things for you. If not, send me an email and we'll try to work out something. Um, que tenga buen día y nos vemos prontísimo. Ciao.